Doop boop boop ba doop boo. Previously on number one Marmaduke fan gets his ass kicked by a bunch of big ass spiders. I got my ass kicked by a bunch of big ass spiders. So this time I'm going to try to go in with a plan and wrap them up. Uh, the, the idea is I'm going to use a Sterion to do uh, harassment tactics while the rest of the group are on the other cliff edge. And I'm going to see if I can get them to follow a Sterion and then uh, come out for, uh, come at them from behind with the rest of the group. It should work, right? Maybe in theory, but not in practice. One of the things I found out about this game is it's all about position, man. Like, raw force, uh, just charge in Leroy Jenkins. That does not work. You had better capture some high ground and hold on to that high ground. And balanced is a really good difficulty for me. Like, I know I'm not... I know I'm a noob, and I don't know how to uh, metagame uh, all these different classes and characters. Uh, I, apparently, that I can use Withers to fix some of that later. Uh, I'm sort of trying to intuit or guess what sounds like a good ability but so I'm not I'm not doing a good job metagaming the different classes but I I found that using tactics in a good position I can get through some of these fights and balance is a nice tricky challenge for me I'm I'm glad I switched from tactician to balanced it is it is not a great inflation difficulty in gaming all right I don't want to walk down there I want to hit him just from right from where I am at Yes, I can hit him here. Okay, 96%. Let's do it. Okay, get him out of here. 94% advantage. Yeah. We got one. All right, all right. Great start. I'm going to put her on the front lines and harass them a little bit more. Yes, okay. We've all joined the battle. Let's have him attack the webs. What's the big boy gonna do? Matriarch's call. Wake up the nasty babies. Yeah. Miss. Haha. -ha. She's so tricksy. Okay. Problem is, uh... Okay, we're going to get wrecked as soon as the Matriarch gets in this fight. So, instead what we're going to do is we're going to get the heck out of here. Hold on to the high ground. Uh, good time to activate Mage Armor. Bless. Bless up to three creatures. We'll bless uh, the group once we get back together. Goaded. Nice. Oh, crud. She's infested, of course. I was in, within range of the stupid mom... Let's fight this out. It'll be good practice. I, I, I probably just lost it right there, because now one of my fighters is taken out. Uh, let's just get him back out of damage. Who are they going to go for? Looks like she's going for a Sterion. Hmm, great. She has great range. Wow. Ah, uh, that was as about as dumb as I could possibly have handled it. Okay, let's try this again. So, right idea, wrong execution. Uh, I should have concentrated on the webs more, because the webs is where they stand to get uh, a beat on me. And their range is great, so I can't leave someone hanging out there, or they'll get picked off. Critical hit. Oh, got it in one hit. Look at that. That's beautiful. 55. Let's try it. Critical hit. Failed at save. Whoa, she teleported right at me. Commence battle. She has babies everywhere. Hi there. I'm getting out of here. I'm running far, far away from you. 90% chance. Let's go for it. I'll strike you down. Can she reach me this far? Dang, she's good. I saved against it. Okay, so that doesn't work very well. Advantage, 99%. Okay. Go, 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 go. Join the battle. Okay, come get us. Come get us, little nasties. Yes, that's right. Send your babies into battle where you can't help them. 
Oh, where is she? Why is she down there? Oh, because they teleported. Great. She's dashing. After Asterion. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Wonderful. Lead her on a wild goose chase while we take out her babies. How's about a superiority die and, like, uh... Goading attack. Sweeping attack. Get them all. Oh, delicious. There we go. Three guys. We're blessed. Okay. Let's split them up again so we don't get bombed with a poison blast. Okay. Predator of the Ethereal Plane. Oh, she's retreating. Okay. Oh, but waking up more babies. Oh, hiding uses up my... Uh... Okay, I see. Hiding. If I hide... If I, if I press the hide button, I'll use up my action, so there's no point. Okay. Just keep hammering away at her webbing. That'll take uh, take away from her ability to sneak up on us quite so well. Usually they show me a path if I can reach it somehow. Disadvantage, because you'd have to climb down. That would work. High ground. Oh, come on. You let me do it. 85. Come on. Checkmate. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm bait. Oh, dear. We got it. Okay. Whew. Now it's just Big Mama we gotta worry about. No more momentum. Okay. Uh-oh. She couldn't reach? She couldn't get hit me? There he is. Holy cow, that was incredible. I guess he lost concentration. Wow. The little phase spiderlings. Do they know where to go? Oh, I would love to hit that web and knock them on their ass. She is hunting us. Oh, she is bad. Ugh. All right, big, fat, meaty attacks. What can we do? Um, compelled duel? Why not? Poor Bernard, he's gonna take one for the team. I don't know if compelled duel... I don't know if compelled duel and being goaded stacks. I, maybe it would override it. So I'm gonna try a hamstring strike. Miss, okay. I really... I was dumb and I forgot to give him a healing potion again. Mysterion is not doing much to harass them. Can we get him into the fight with the mom? There's the mom. I could get him within range. High defense. Now what does this do? Possibly pushing them off balance. Let's try it. It's saved against it. Okay. How about action surge? No, let's hit it hard. Lacerate. For two turns. Did missed. Okay. How about a pommel strike? Set her on fire again? High defense. Wow, she's good. Does that have any... Deals additional fight one part eight fight. Okay, let's try that. Come on, got her. Can't slow down. <laughs> Nothing. more action surge. Hmm. 
Wrath. Who she pissed at me. <laughs> oh boy, okay. How about a sneak attack? Now I can reach her, right? Advantage, let's do it. Get hurt. Hit her. And then how about a bite? Oh, she's gonna take to the Sterion, okay. Nope, not gonna provoke an attack of opportunity. And turn. Let's do Wrathful Smite. Really good, okay. Now it's frightened, okay. What happened? Did they sneak up on us? They're not smart. It's frightened, good. Okay, okay, okay. And he's down, great. Let's kill it, let's kill it, let's kill it. Kill it with fire, kill it with magic, anything. 3 to 24. Five percent. What has a high likelihood of hitting? Let's just do it. Got her. Oh. Shit. Okay. Yes. Why not? Whew. As long as we're together and we're all healed, I think we should be able to handle those little boogers. So let's get Asterion closer. Now they're going for a Sterion. Here we go. Kill them all. Kill them all. Oh, that one managed to get a bite on me? Oh, no. Sneaky little bastards. Oh, I can use Cutting Attic Kitchen to disengage. Duh. Disengage. Use it. Get out of here. Oh, she's standing in the Toxin again? Okay. Second wind, maybe. Yeah, uh, 1d10 plus 3, so about like 8. It's worth it. 12, perfect. Ah, gotta save against that toxin every time. The position's terrible. There. One for the ages. Lazelle is inspired. Whew, what a fight. There. Simple toxin. Where is this bloody toxin? Ah. Hate it. No, no, no. Get away from it. Get away. Get away from it. Asterion, you're going to take the lead since you have dark vision. Now I want to poke around and see if I can find any treasure down here. And I want to kill all the eggs. We have to carefully, carefully avoid stepping into uh, Spider Queen's poison. Let's go this way to avoid her. Purple. Oh, look at that simple toxin. It just is covering the whole bloody floor. Uh, before we go down there, we're going to hit that. There. I guess they cover every save. Oh, what are you guys doing? Down here. <coughs> Idiots. They're all getting poisoned. Where is the poisonous surface? I can't even see it. Never a moment. <sighs> Bloody hell. My feet can carry me. Everybody's getting poisoned. It would be really dumb to die here. Camp and resting menu. Let's take a short rest. Whew. All right, all right, all right. we don't die stepping around in poison or something. Hmm, that's a little suspicious. That's a little suspicious, too. The cave just keeps going lower and lower. What's that purple thing? What is that? Dark amethyst. Exterminate the spiders. Fail Gribbles Extermination Service. Come on. No, come on, where are you, green thing? Come on, you gotta let me kill all the eggs, right? They just don't want me to look at it. It's too disgusting. Alright, I'm gonna hope that nothing bad happens if I leave an egg alive. It's just there for scenery and decoration. Yes. It'd be fun to just have someone jump to see if they instantly die. Save first before we try this idiocy. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Let us try something incredibly dumb. 
demonstrate madness. Game over. What? It is something. Is it the Underdark? It is something. Wow. Well. Oh, is it having trouble rendering a cutscene because of my mods? Did I break the game? It seems like I'm supposed to be here because your party has been defeated. I have to be impervious to falling damage to survive that. Okay, there's a reason to learn Featherfall right there. Learn Featherfall, come back here, and figure out what the heck that is. I guess I'll finish by just seeing if there's anything worth getting down here apart from that, because I don't have Featherfall yet. Man, you can just go so far off the main path, you just go deeper and deeper and deeper, exploring more and more, it's really cool. Oh, hello. A waypoint. So we can teleport back here later. Oh, we have a camp down here in the caves, okay. Is there any junk? Steal stuff. Steal our own stuff so we can sell it. Where's my favorite junk buying gnome? We have more junk for you. Because the gnome's gonna stay here, but if I ever wanna buy my junk back, the kids will probably bring my junk to Baldur's Gate with them. They're, they're my stealth uh, transportation service. Hey, I got some good stuff for ya. I must save the hats, they're important. Apparently it's several days. It's uh, magic time. I can take several days poking around and they don't get kicked out. Those druids have been working uh, their butts off for a week. Apprentice's Journal. A menacing reed documenting an apprentice's flight from his homeland and struggles in his new life. A meandering reed, okay. 3 Uktar, 1371 DR. Let it be known that I left my homeland because I was bound to my master and not because I chose to. Were it not for the oath I swore, I would still be home, serving the Zulkirs, and not tending to hogpox in this crude hamlet. However, an oath is an oath, and I will serve him, as is my duty, until I am released. The early journal entries are written in a delicate, intricate script that gets rougher and wilder the more pages you turn. It ends with one hastily scrawled entry. They did it! The Dark Justicars got the old bastard before the Zulks could. Now he's bleeding out, and once he's gone, I'll be free of this oath. I can go back. I'll return the Tome of Necromancy he stole. They'll forgive me then. They'll know I'm loyal. The key gem's secure in the tunnels. Once I have it, I'll slip into the cellar, take what I can carry, and then home. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think I, I must have gotten this in the Goblin Village. So this must be someone who is... This is the seller that was mentioned, okay. Uh, maybe this was the guy who was working in the blacksmith shop, or maybe this has something to do with the crazy uh, spiders and stuff going on in Moonshire. Okay. Oh, that should be sent to... Why does he have it? It's in the camp. It's supposed to be Shadow Hearts. Why does he have it? Use... Why do I have this? Curious ornate box. Its many sides are engraved with indecipherable glyphs. Hmm, put it away. He's not smart enough for this. It's weird, it's something important. A blackguard hat, equipment. <laughs> no, I think that uh Asterion's the only one who should have silly hats. The Wonders of Phandalin. Aged dry pages crack at your touch, but this book is otherwise well preserved. In this year, 950 DR, there can hardly be a more prosperous and fortunate town than Phandalin. Van Delver's pact has brought prosperity to this land, splitting the wonders of wave echo cave between gnomes and dwarves. The town now boasts thriving communities of both peoples, living and working together in harmony. We have also tempted human spellweavers from all across the north to our town, who are happy to work side by side with the allies of Van Delver's pact. Mayor Alderleaf invites you to come and witness this miracle yourself. See the powers being uncovered in the forge of spells, and the prosperity this power brings. I dare say Neverwinter will soon have a new rival for the title of Jewel of the North. Okay, I think I read that, though. Extracts. The Rule of Three. Uh, the back cover of this book proudly proclaims the most famed and comprehensive beginner's guide to all things alchemy in a beautiful 50th anniversary edition. Now with foreword by Aidan Ilvar. Let's see. I read this. Yeah, when in doubt with alchemy. So I have more than one books with the alchemy rules. Okay. Fringe Philosophy, Volume 5. A dense academic volume printed with no eye for design or delight. The publisher's note claims this volume promotes magical theory too radical for the mainstream. This excerpt is attributed to high artificer Thara Brin of Baldur's Gate. I suppose they seek to silence me, believing that an artificer of the High House would not stoop to publish in any volume outside of the great Gondian journals they so diligently guard, but they forget that I am not so grand. Before I lent my name and my knowledge to the High House of Wonders, and all the marvels therein, I was t I was not but a lazy farm girl who liked to look up. And that was how I first saw them. The slow and serene earth motes, entire mountains migrating through the sky above. It was later I learned of their origins, the ancient Netherese empire that fashioned them, of the residual magic so potent it sustained them still. The wizards of Netheril carved marvels out of the mundane, lifted the earth aloft for industry, for sport. It was later still, after I earned my place at the High House, that I learned of the long shadow Netheril cast along the evolution of our craft. 
that their great flying cities fell in folly and flames does not diminish the wonders they wrought, and this stubborn aversion to studying them, to learning what they learned, is the very, antith the very antithesis of Gon's teachings. Yes, many of the catastrophes inflicted upon the centuries were fruit, born of meddling with Netherese seed. Yes, their last shining bastion fell into shadow, their lore twisted to Shars' dark and destructive designs. And yes, I say again, whether the High House will sanction it or no, to study the very flame of creation is worth it, even should the fires consume us. Okay, we got wizards playing with weird ancient Netherese magic. It's probably too dangerous for them to control. That's why it's Fringe, Philosophy, Volume 5. Soul Coins, a treatise. A red leather cover of this manuscript is stamped with a grotesque sigil, bearing resemblance to a screaming face. Academic Disclosure. This research was funded independently and conducted at a site in Avernus, the first plane of the Nine Hells. Candlekeep does not encourage or promote the entrapment of mortal souls. <laughs> soul Coins, as a concept, are one of merciless simplicity. The sum of personal and magical essence, the soul, is bound into a minted piece of infernal iron and used as currency by devils and their cohort. They are frequently traded, where their value can purchase mercenaries, magical items, and even fuel the strange engines in the hells. However, there is a fascinating culture surrounding soul coins as well. I spoke to a devil who admitted she has one coin that she will never sell, for it was the bargain that got her promoted out of Lemure status. She connected me to a half-elf warlock, who had promised his soul to a coin after death. I was able to look at his contract, which is reproduced below. The next 50 pages appear to be a painstakingly written legal document in Infernal, with a headache-inducing number of footnotes. Okay, uh, they're the devils are the legalese uh, soul lawyers. Need anything else? I'm gonna sell you more books. Of course, but please, remember, you're not the only one in need. Of books? Household Prayer. Ooh, I didn't read that. Oral Histories of Faerun, Paladin O's and their tenants. I'll hold on to it a little longer. I'm gonna, let's see here. A common prayer often handwritten in place uh, to bring the grace of gods upon a household. Okay. And you paid six gold for that? Okay. Lathander to light, Salune to guide, Kelemvor to judge, and passage provide. I don't need to save that. Let's sell it. There we go. We turned a bunch of junk into some rare items. Okay, we kind of explored the uh, spider's cave, and we discovered there's something even deeper buried under there, but we can't get there yet without Featherfall. Underwear, equipped by Sir Bernard. Netherese briefs. Energy crackles around these. Gale wouldn't, surely he wouldn't enchant his underwear. Lazel's clothes. As exciting as a trade debt position, and as functional as a brick. Tasteful boots. Okay. Lazel's underwear. Built for function rather than fun. <laughs> Everyone has underwear, okay. Yeah, and uh, he cares about looking good, but a lot of his clothing is in disrepair. Dark Amethyst. Ooh, you can't shake the feeling that darkness seeps out of this heavenly orb-like stone. I'm not selling that. That's clearly important. Who's most likely to be throwing stuff? Asterion seems to be our tricky throwing guy. What now? You get a ring. Equip. Guidance. Okay. You know what? Let's go ahead and give it to him. He'll find a way to use it. Equip. Oh, I can't equip it. It'd be hilarious if you could do something with it. I will. Oh, he hit himself with acid? Okay, if you want to do that. Not enough resources, okay. You are a determined fellow. Skull Lantern. Hi! Goblin Camp, okay. Nasty guys. Keeping everything on fire. Okay, claw at a bunch of guys. I can talk to them? Why don't we talk to them and just rest our way out? I need a quick word. Will they attack us, or can we charisma our way through this? Are they not coming closer? Yeah, that's probably smart. Let's get a little bit more distance. Let's save properly rather than just the dinky autosave. And let's try... Yeah, rather than attacking, let's try uh, role-playing. Novice of the Absolute. Look here, Claw. Sapper's here. Unless you've got another reason to be here. Fix right. Let's try to be diplomatic, shall we? Goblins don't come by the handfuls, but by the dozens. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Ah. I'm looking for someone named Halson. Stand aside, illithid wisdom. I'm a hired sword. Employers inside. Stand aside now. Intimidation. Glossy coat on the animal. Does she belong to the Norderland or Gota family? That doesn't seem useful. Unless, I guess he's maybe he's a nerd. Your leader summoned me. Read the goblin's mind. I'm not that smart. Oh, and my dumminess did not help. Oi! Out of me head! Lads! This is trying to scramble me brain! Oh, he noticed. Wow, okay. I want to try some other roleplay options, see what I can do. Also, he's bloodied and has disadvantage in minus one, so maybe Asterion should take the lead on this one. Uh, 
Asterion, you're up. One step at a time. Look here, Claw. Sapper's here. So you failed, so you failed intelligence. You've got another reason to be here. Fix sight. Let's try to be diplomatic, shall we? Goblins don't come by the handfuls, but by the dozens. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Let's see. Now let's try to reuse mine. Because I'm happy and I'm intelligent. But I'm also having an off day. Oh dear. Let's try again. Yeah, I've, used, I've got four of them. Let's use them. It's better not be Minthara's messenger. If the boss finds out I gave him hard time, it's me done. I'm a messenger. Here to see Minthara. Okay. That's clever. I'm a messenger. Here to see Minthara. Oh, right. Big pardon. Gotta give all the visitors the old squinty eye, you know. Ha! Uh, go on in and have a drink for me, eh? <laughs> have you seen a druid named Halston? Who? If he ain't one of us, and if he's here, he's down in the pits. Save the druid if you must. If we spill goblin blood on the way, all the better. Nice. That noise is coming from behind you. Good or bad? <laughs> Depends who you are. We're celebrating a raid. No better time in camp than this. Get yourself a bit of fun before it dries up. They're torturing prisoners or something. Rip the guts out of Wackey's rest we did. Inns are good for gutting. Lads even captured some duke. Worth celebrating, that is. Leave, okay. Important, very important parasite. Ariana Ariana is inspired. On, See, I got my inspiration right back. Go on, then. Puce. Claw. Rip you. Rip you for the giblets. Got thick giblets. What am? Hulk. What? Olek. Nothing. Small claw. Touch me, and I'll bleed you out. Hmm. I'm bad. Quit moaning. Enjoy the pie. Trackers. Okay, I can't steal a bunch of stuff because they are guarding it. Eh, anything over there? Okay, I guess that's nice if you want to get like the drop on them, right? Bird's nest. Sharp-eyed snurd. Let's talk to them all. <sighs> That's all she says, uh. There's your goblin waifu, Twitter internet. I've seen what you degenerates draw. <laughs> That's successful. What happened? Get off the fire. So he, his perception worked. Perception failed. Last mine. This place is more dangerous than I thought. Holy cow, okay, they like to leave traps everywhere. Passed his perception check, but I ran right through it anyway, okay. Traps. How considerate. Total bonus is eight. Wooden chest, but it belongs to the goblins. Why don't we drink with them? Devout wasp and warlock tud. Infiltrate. Looking at a future true soul, you are. Boss Ragslin says I'm next in line. Sharp eyes, luck. Tribe? Uh, tribe. Tribe! The tribe, not tribe, say nothing. And the Noll gnawed her arm clean off. So much for the flaming fist, eh? You saw a flaming fist? Where? You ain't here. We sat Joaquin's rest and left it to burn. Drow flinging magic. Noll snapping off heads. Ends nothing but a pile of ash by now. Glorious. <laughs> Were there any survivors? Bunch of prisoners got towed to moonrise. City snobs mostly. But the flaming fist? Pile of smoking corpses. Do you know the way to Moonrise? You ain't know the broken road. Meh. <laughs> I'll tell you real slow, like, so you don't miss it. North. Leave. Okay, look at the map. So that's not Moonrise. That's the Blighted Village. So Moonrise is up there at the Goblin Camp. Okay, we're kind of like the edge of the Goblin Camp. This is big. There are a bunch of these guys. I talked to all three. Wasp, Sluck, Tud. Blessings be. Whoa. Elephants? Hear my voice. Obey my command. The voice is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, and the infinitely stronger. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape. Nothingness in every direction. Oh boy. There are three figures before you. 
an armored male elf exuding power and command, a handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile, and a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the weapon, and you will be worthy to stand beside them in my presence. The visions fade and the voice falters as a strange energy swells around you. The many-sided artifact. Somehow you understand it's repelling the presence. Mm. If Shadowheart's not with us, I hold it. Grows, my forces gather. The reckoning draws near. The voice is quelled. The artifact's doing. That voice, those visions, what just happened? No answer presents itself. The artifact is dormant. The voice and visions are gone. I gotta have Shadowheart examined. Oh, Lazel can level up. Reaction. Let's go ahead and do it. I want to use her to beat things up. Wow. I really like that uh, martial adept wine. Let's get some maneuvers. When it misses you with a melee attack, expend a superiority die to retaliate with powerful strike that deals additional 1d8 damage. I feel like that's a nice passive one. Let's have a nice passive feature that lets me use some reactions. I like that distracting one. There, get my buddy's advantage. There. Lots of battle master techniques. All right, now, what's weird about that whole situation is we, if, it's, if the voice we heard is the voice of authority, that means that's uh, blah. That is the same thing the Illithids have given us, right? But then why is talking about, like, elves and stuff? Who uh, There's something mysterious going on. Let's use this. A curious, ornate box. Its many sides are engraved with indecipherable glyphs. Investigation. Examine it more closely. And I'm an idiot. Add a bonus. Guidance. Hey, we did it. No openings you can see, yet you sense something inside it. I've seen markings like these. Ancient Githyanki inscriptions. Whatever this box, it's significant. What does Shadowheart know about this? We need to talk to her about it. Put it away. We should hold on to it. The fact that it protected us is useful. Oh, it's Volo. What's he up to? Sounds like they've captured the stuff of the Or be you beheaded. Goblin kind will tease you and throat you apart. A stranger in a fair camp. Laugh if you dare, recoil if you must. A new age is dawning with goblins at trust. Mountains, great models, old kinders to quake. The true souls are coming, the lambers are wake. The Apollo, like my ball and white for great glory. Draw right lens, rift, make as a blade in the quarry. Be you beheaded. Or be you beheaded. Goblin kind will tease you and throat you and redden you. His name is Draw Rex. With fabulous crown and with scepter of braid, Draw Rexlin, short work of the innkeeper, made. <laughs> the inn burns to ash. The captives were many. Goblin kind had reduced them to cowering, filfenny. So raise it, the old goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Rexlin, the true soul, had let you collide. <laughs> They're forcing him to entertain. Give him your rapt attention. Fragulous Goliath, I don't know this language. Bravo, boo, get off the stage. Okay. Bravo, let's help him brass this out. Who's that? Friend of yours? You up to something? Oh, certainly not. What are you doing? I'm busy here. You lying. Shoot. To you. Never. Come, let's continue our ballad. <clears throat> draw Raxlin, draw Raxlin. Um, um, I am draw Raxlin. Um, Who? Tumptuous, uh, draw Rexlin. Uh, um. You broke him. Wait, wait. Uh, draw Rexlin. We pray. We uh... come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Ooh. Look what you've done. I thought cheering him would help. Of course, uh, when I grim of idiots. Right. Yes. Not for me. Are we gonna take him to his cage? Ooh. Okay. Can we talk to any of them? Who's that? Guard Gurgen. I feel like we could try to order the... O I don't know if the ogres will turn on the absolute, though. Like, they'll work for me, but are they really going to fight their bosses for me? Having a drink. It's all the sweeto and it's free, isn't it? Indeed. Free, where did you get it all? It is. Looks like... Is it? It looks like swill to me. Indeed. Of course. Sweet piss is still piss. That in was asking for a burning, selling his muck. Are you even chewy? You like chewy drink? Tracker pulley. Hey, hey! 
You ain't rounding me up for no rain. No way. Oh, I'm drinking. Good for you. Bottoms up. You'll need to sober up before another rain. Good for you. Bottoms up. Yeah. Here's to the absolute. Uh, slurp I mer merg. Bloody arm is killing me. Here's to the best sedative there is. Booze. Let's see. Merg. Warlock. Warlock Gurk. Grab a drink before you see the priestess, Smacker. The brandy stinks something proper. You let her burn you? Why? Does this priest just heal people too, or does she just brand them? Uh. Why? Why'd you let her burn you? Mark the absolute idiot. Shows our devotion to her. Makes it easier to decide who we kill and who we don't, too. So, so best get a move on, eh? Okay. Brawler. What's holding up the game? Chicken ain't dead, is it? Krola. She seems to know stuff. That's it. Well, now, you look like a toughen, but have you got smarts, skills, guts? All that and more. I can handle myself. Just fine if you have a point while you... All that and more! And you're gonna need it, mate. This ain't your standard dungeon dive, right? This... This is chicken chasing. <laughs> chicken chasing what? Only the greatest game since eggs sprouted legs, mate. <laughs> you just gotta chase the chicken round the calls and through the posts. But that ain't all. Gotta do it quick and alone. Any of your mates step in, you lose. Time runs out, you lose. Sound easy? It ain't. Better contenders than you have been bested by the bird. We gotta do this. Seems easy enough. Sounds fun. Count me in. This is cruel. Uh, seems easy enough. <laughs> Fancy yourself, do you? Care to pin that claim down with some coin? Uh, sure. I'll pay place a bet. We got the coin. We got the challenger. Now we just need the crowd, hey? We're starting a new game. Move your eyes. Oh, he's the one who has to do it. Despite everything. Where do I have to go? Shouldn't mind my snap. What are you waiting for? Shimmy on the stop. What are you trying to me for? Chicken ain't gonna chase itself. Where's the starting line? What are you waiting for? Shimmy Shovel on the chicken. The chicken's head bobs, eyes darting around at the leering goblin faces. She's terrified. Urge her to attack them. Really? Okay. Natural one. I am not that smart. <laughs> I don't know if it's worth trying to get it just for, uh, uh, oh, why not? Come on, D20. I'm awful at this. Okay, I, I don't think it was meant to be. She shrinks from your voice. Just another leering face sent to torment her. If only I could talk to her. Where's the mark? What are you waiting for? Shimmy on the starting mark in this get down. Is this the starting mark? Oh, I have to hit it? Go. Chase it. Oh boy, I'm not good at this. Come on. Uh, do I have to hit it? I'm not that good at this. I should have talked to it with animal handling or something. Chase that chicken. That's the game done. <laughs> We need an animal handler. Okay, you gotta chase it through that. Alright. Well, 30 gold. Let's call it a failed experiment. We'll come back later. Roasted dwarf ribs. Oh my gosh, they're eating people. What's holding up the game? Chicken ain't dead, is it? Talk to those three. Gricka. Meat ain't ready yet. Dwarves take an age to roast. <laughs> smells delicious. Reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> That's disgusting. He smells awful. Where'd you find a dwarf? He found us. Don't know what he was doing here or where he came from. Lads inside are trying to get answers out of one of his mates. <laughs> uh, was one of his mates a druid? Nah, druids are all beardy and woodsy, ain't they? This lot were a scabby gang of tomb robbers. Had a big old war there with them, though. Took five of our meanest lashes to chain it up. We'll beat the fight out of it and make it one of our own. <laughs> I can get you answers. Where's the prisoner? Enjoy poking holes in people, do ya? <laughs> He's inside. Keep to the right and follow the screams. <laughs> Why would Gale disapprove that? I'm obviously trying to get to the prisoner so I can figure something out. Uh, maybe he's going to torture it. I don't know. You hungry? 
dwarfs getting good and crispy. Ooh. Quagga. Quagga? Enjoying the view. Looking tasty in these new breeches, ain't I? They look quite fetching on you. Tasty's not the word, gruesome. They're just pain. They look quite fetching on you. Proper stylish, ain't they? Nicked them off this dwarf we're cooking. Uh, do you make a habit of eating dwarves? Uh, the dwarf, do you have anything on him besides pants? I don't know. He was already stripped down to his breeches when I got my hands on him. I had a couple of coins in the pockets in some daft poem. But that's all. I love poetry. Can I see? I'm sure you can. But I look's all you're getting. Mm, for all I know, this little rust was some famous bard. And you'll be sending his last words for a pretty penny. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Mm. Authority. What's your price? You're wasting your time. Dwarven poetry is worthless. He absolutely does not ask. Certainly not twice. Ah. Uh, I'm going to try to persuade him as myself. You're wasting your time. Dwarven poetry is worthless. I'm bloodless. Guidance? I add guidance? Yeah, it's a cantrip. Let's just use it. We got it. Let's use it. Yes, I am a persuasive fellow. Even though I have no blood in me right now. Success. Really? Oh, shit. You might as well use it as bug roll then. I'll get back to tending the meat. Press I to view. Dwarf's poem. A eulogy. It's worth 100 gold. Wow. A eulogy for a Selenite who died in the dark below. Notes about a door under the temple are written in the margins. A son of Selun fell here in the dark below, and we sealed his grave in her holy glow. May the full moon never touch the stars once more. May darkness never conquer the moon maiden's door. A note is scrawled in the margins. Found the door under the temple. Think the moon's turned, but which way? A cluster of stars and lunar phases are sketched beneath. Okay, it's a clue. Uh, found the door under the temple. Think the moon's turned, but which way? A cluster of stars and lunar... Okay. So we're going to find something that has turning moons. So if something may fail here in dark glow, and we sealed his grave in her holy glow. May the full moon never touch the stars once more. May the darkness never conquer moon maiden's door. I'm going to hold on to this, because I'm probably going to use it in a temple, and I'll sell it later. Nice. Warrior soul. This ale tastes like hope goblin spit. Who's been puking in the battle? Yeah. All right. Aggie? Yes. Uh, drink's going straight through me. The only cure is drinking more as fast as you can. That's the plan. We looted an entire inn. Brought back enough booze to drown a dragon. <laughs> Here's to them we nicked it off. Down one mug of ale for every throat we cut. <laughs> Who else is here? He's running too fast. Give out. You hungry? Oh, now he's chasing the chicken. Okay. You grab the traitor. You look like you got something jingling in your pocket. Looking to spend it. Uh, quite the trove. How'd you get your hands on all this? Nicked him off the dead, didn't I? Let me see what you have. Oh boy, twenty-five percent discount. I'm pretty poor, though. I only have 30 gold. I ought to just, like, come back and raid him later. I could have all this stuff if I if I just kill him later, right? I'll come back later. Get moving. I've got other customers. The Purge Palette. Midwinter Edition. Read it. Here we go. Trader has no problem with you inspecting these goods, so long as you're willing to pay for them. Oh, can I buy it? Cutting board wars? Dang it. He doesn't have it for sale. The Purge Palette. Midwinter Edition. 28 coin loss. What does that mean? I have a 28 coin loss. That's right. I got stuff if you got coin. 34. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, okay, okay. I have to buy that item specifically. Okay. Midwinter edition. Let's get it. I like to buy books. Examine. A widely printed series of dwarven recipes. Why not? I'll come back and kill him later and steal it all. Let's read a book in the middle of this entirely dangerous situation. The Purge Palette, Midwinter Edition, a widely printed series of dwarven recipes. A series of recipes accompanied by anecdotes about the meals in question. This is a twist on the traditional dwarven eglock stew. Those non-dwarven who can't translate that, don't bother. No point frightening yourselves. Just make sure that once you've burned the alcohol away, do not add the drider venom. Substitute it with some other sour whatever agrees with your milky constitution. As to how I discovered this one, back during my watchman days, a drought thief and I caught spite. Oh, a drought thief I caught spite my supper. The look on his face when I quaffed it down was near as good as the stew. <laughs> Excellent. Dwarves are cool. Okay, hold on. Let's level up, and then we'll save and call it a day. Level up. Am I level four? I might want to get Will. I don't think I'm going to use Shadowheart much. I'd rather have Will. New feet available. Well, okay, the thing about Will is Will really strongly overlaps with 
what I'm already doing anyway with a high charisma guy. So I'd rather have play my paladin and have him be the face of the party. So maybe I'll bench Will and uh, Shadowheart and keep this crew. So let's see. New feat available. I gotta prepare better spells. I don't think I want command. Compel Duel is useful. Cure Wounds is useful. Wrathful Smite seems okay. Bless seems okay. Thunder Smite. Courage. I, I like that heroism. If I'm in a frightened situation, I get the five hit points. It's, it's concentration, though, so as soon as I hurt, I'm hurt, I'll lose it. That seems a little better anyway. Compelled Duel is really useful. Feet. Oh, okay. I can't do Defensive Duelist. Next dexterity needs to be higher than 13. I'm too much of a klutz. Okay. How am I using him? I'm using him as a front uh, frontline fighter. You can advantage on saving throws to maintain concentration on a spell. Ooh, that's good, because I have some a lot of concentration spells. You can also use a reaction to cast Shocking Grasp at a target moving out of melee range. I like that. I want to maintain concentration better. Yes. Yes, because I'm going to be using Bless. I'm, I have a lot of great concentration stuff. Okay. All right. Gain a cantrip. What's available? True Strike. Gain advantage on your next track. That'd be nice, because if since my magic is high damage, I'd like it to actually land. And it's just a cantrip. I want that True Strike, man. It'll come in, it'll come in handy. Uh, that seems useful. Ten turns, level two net. Man, yeah, everybody gets advantage on it and has disadvantage. That's a way of really screwing up a guy. Featherfall is what I need to be able to explore that downward area. You and nearby allies gain immunity to falling damage. We're going to do it so we can explore that place. And a feat. Spell Sniper. You learn a cantrip, and the number you need to roll a critical hit uh, with spells. Let's do that. Spell Sniper. Okay. I like this one. Let's control the field a little bit. Can't be pulled if it's huge in size. There we go. All right, accept. There, we, need, we needed someone to do new Featherfall. New feat available. Oh boy, okay. All right, I'm going to like call the recording here and futz with this. I'm going to save with this because you guys probably don't want to watch me just like futzing and looking at stats, right? All right, love you guys. Catch you later.